What's going on guys? Today we are going to be reviewing a, a 2023 Ford Explorer Timberland. Now powering this Timberland is a 2.3 liter EcoBoost that puts out 300 horsepower and 310 foot pounds of torque. Now this engine is found in a lot of other Ford vehicles such as the uh, EcoBoost Mustang, the Focus RS and the Ford Ranger and the Bronco. But uh, starting here with the grill, you get like this mesh flat black grill, which actually looks pretty good. If you're going to be using this for what this thing is intended for, which is like off-roading, then uh, flat black is better than chrome. It's easier to clean and maintain. And then here you got a black Ford emblem, which is actually pretty nice. Um, first time Ford's ever done this on any, any of their vehicles. They started it first with the Super Duties back in uh, 2020. You do get a front forward facing camera, which is nice, especially if you're off-roading. Uh, you do get these little inserts here, which you actually can pop these out and put in the LED light bar there. Going over here, you get your signature daytime running headlights that start here and then go all the way into the bumper. Ford Explorer script there. Blacked out LED headlights here and blacked out fog lights there. You get some flat black here. A lot of re people that review cars would zonk this. But actually, I like it because it will it wears a lot easier, a lot easier to maintain. And then if it was like flat or gloss black or chrome, you do get this orange trim here that goes all the way across the bumper you do get some orange tow hooks which look pretty nice as we move to here you do get a uh, metal skid plate so that, that's actually pretty nice on on an explorer and right here you do get the uh, timberland badge right there as well moving to the uh, side of the vehicle. all right guys so we got uh, this gloss black 18 inch wheel that's wrapped in a Bridgestone Dueler tire. It's a 265-65 R18. Um, I really like how meaty this tire is. It's not the meatiest tire out there, but it's pretty meaty for uh, an Explorer and what most people be using this Explorer for. So as we go down to the side, uh, really like how Ford put this gloss black here. A lot of people zonk this, but I, actually, I think it actually adds nice, especially with the flat black around it really does stick out you got explorers stamped in there your uh, body collar door handle and your uh, gloss black uh mirror cap and i really like the body line that ford has right here on the explorer it starts right there in the front end and it just goes along the side of the Ex explorer all the way to the back and there's your uh, timberland badge body collar door, door handles here body collared uh seat pillars and as we swing around to the rear end you do get these uh, really nice LED C-shaped uh, taillights, which is signature from Ford. Your big uh, Timberland badge is there. Again, uh, Explorer stamped in here as well. Your smaller uh, Ford badge there. And something that Radies Rides had pointed out many times on the Explorer is this, this lunch wiper. It would be pretty cool if that Ford actually took it and moved it up in here but i know why they put it there though uh your rear view camera there this does have the tow package which is pretty nice i th believe you can tow up to about five thousand pounds with this if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong but you did get your two inch receiver your connections there uh your chrome four-wheel drive badge there uh this nice uh little spoiler here which actually looks pretty nice a little sporty Starting with the interior, you get kind of a hard touch here. Soft, like leather here. Orange stitching, this is green. Wish sunshine making it look like it's black. Uh, you do get gloss, like a brush aluminum uh, door handle here. This does have Ford's b &O sound system. Your window mirror adjustments there, window controls there. Grab handle, you do get a cup holder there, storage there. Your b &O sound system speaker cover there. Your steering wheel has your uh, cruise control, Bluetooth, uh, your Bluetooth controls there. It is uh, leather wrapped and really like the uh, orange stitching Ford did there. Really uh, nice attention to detail. And then moving to the driver's seat. This is a, like kind of like a leather and cloth mix and I really like it. It looks really nice. Um, pretty sure this will wear really well over time. You do get your uh, orange stitching on the green seats. And uh, you do get a uh, Timberland badge right there, which I really do like the way that Timberland badge looks. Moving to the center console, you do get your uh, drive selector there. 
It's a dial just like in the Bronco Sports and a lot of other Ford SUVs. Uh, you do get your center console here with a 12 volt in there as well. Pretty deep. Ford's known for having very deep uh, center consoles. Wireless charging there. Cup holders there and there. A little phone storage there. Press this. This opens up. You get uh, USB, USB, USB C, and uh, 12 volt as well in there. Your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls. There's your 8 inch uh, Sync 3 infotainment system. Storage underneath there. Your uh, push uh, start button right there. And I like that finish there. Kind of gives it a little bit of a luxury look as well. There's your gauge clusters or analog. If, you, if you're looking for something with um, digital, you need to move up to like the limited platinums, STs, and King Ranch Explorers. All right, guys. Price on this Ford Explorer is uh, fifty-three thousand five hundred sixty-five dollars. Um, here's the uh, window sticker. I know it's kind of hard to look because of the way the sun is, but um, there you guys go. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today. If you guys like this video, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Leave a like button. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know what you guys think I should uh, review next. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later.